Hello folks, how y'all doing? Hope everybody's doing great. I really do. I'm showing y'all this just to start off the video. And I really do mean it. Is that the best y'all can do? To give you an update, this one's 55, 45. This one's 66, 66 at the time of this being made. Now, just plain ridiculous. It's like this. Got a wheel here, just spinning. You know, just blatantly spinning around in a circle. They're considering it to be perpetual motion. Whether it is, whether it ain't, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, physics says it can't be created. That may be true. Or if it can, it doesn't have enough energy to turn any kind of power source. That may be true too. But I don't believe that. Because, see, physics is only right if the formula is right. We all know that. Fit, physics is just a way for a scientist or someone to keep you or tell you a lie. And it's done for a reason. It's to keep you from knowing the real truth about your history, about your life, and about what's out there in the free world. What can be free and what's not. Hydrogen fuels the same way. They had an, a carburetor in 1939 and I've got videos on that. It shows you. The man invented a hydrogen carburetor. He disappeared. Hmm. Does it work? Don't know. Did it work for him? Must have did because he made a patent on it. He had to develop it before he can make a patent on it. Don't you reckon? But that's neither here. There is it. You know, looking at this wheel, that's all you're doing is looking at a wheel. You're watching some motion. Motion. But the only problem of it is, is this wheel's not going anywhere. It really ain't. And I'm going to be more honest with you. We're not going anywhere either, folks. We're chasing airplanes that disappeared. We're chasing guillotines that could be true. Probably ain't true because the first story they ran on it wasn't true. The second one may be true. Don't know. Didn't bother to look this time. Much. I did a little. But it doesn't matter. Even if they are going to cut off American citizens' heads with a guillotine. I'm being straight up. Are you doing anything about it? No. You know why you ain't doing anything about it? Because all you're worried about is the next dollar that's going to come down that chimney pipe for you. That's right. Just another dollar. Worried about your thumbs up and thumbs down? I don't care. Thumb up, thumb down don't matter. It don't matter. I don't care. Bad comments? I don't have to listen to them, so I just don't approve them. Don't care. Why don't I care? Because it don't matter if you care. If you care, you know what happens to you? Same old thing. You get into an argument with somebody. You 
Try to be straight up with them. Be their friend. Try to help them. But that ain't what they want. That's not what they want. They just want that dollar. The almighty dollar. And you know, I don't care if you want the mighty dollar. I don't. I really don't care if you want it. Because some of you going to say that I'm doing the same thing in a, in a fashion. And yes, I am. I don't care if you're trying to make some money. I really don't. But ain't it better to push the truth? Or push something that's going to help you instead of hurt you. I mean in the long run. I'm not talking about right that minute. That dollar that you need right that minute. <clears throat> because we all need a dollar. We all need dollars. We all need to make that money. One way or another. To survive. And this unfree society that we live in yeah I said unfree because you're not free people you're not free at all you have some rights but they showing you every day that they're shoving them rights up your ass and I mean what I said just then they're shoving them straight up your ass every day They showing you and telling you that your constitutional rights don't mean a flying flip because of the corporate entity. They trapped you into thinking that you were free, but you're not. The reason why you're not is because of the Act 1871 and some laws before that. Yes. There's more laws. We're talking about the one that took your sovereignty rights away. That's right. We're not talking about just your state rights that they took away from you. Your sovereignty state rights. We're talking about just your sovereignty rights when they signed the Act of 1871. And they incorporated the United States into a corporation to take even more of your money and your freedoms and your rights away. But yet, many of you, many of you, had rather come thumb down one person or several, but just a group of you, gain up and want to play your little pissy little game. And I call it a pissy little game because that's what it is. It's child's play. Children playing. Because I made a video about it. And I'm pretty much going to try to keep this one clean. But I called them pussies. And I still am. I ain't backing up from it. You can watch the video. You can go over there on True TV and look for TAT1009 and you can find it. It's there. Oh yeah, it's there. And you can watch it. But don't take your children with you. Have your headphones on. And don't, you know, listen to it on loudspeakers. You'll enjoy it. You sure will. Some of you will. Some of you will understand what it was for. Some will just enjoy it. Because that's what, how you are. You want to enjoy it. But it wasn't to enjoy. It was to startle you. Yeah, that's what it's for. Try to get people to pay attention and to wake up to life.
because most of the ones that I was talking about are still playing a game. And all the ones that was involved are still playing. All. Not just some, but all are still playing the game. It doesn't matter which side they say they're on. They're not on nobody's side. They try to turn people against one side or the other. And they've been doing that since the beginning. Because they're paid. But yet they call you everything but the right thing. And the more popular you get, the worse they treat you. That's the name of the game. Alex Jones has been through it. Dutch has been through it. I've been through it. Monty's been through it. SO's been through it. Bunches of them. Some of them deserved some of the things they got. Some didn't. And I'm not giving anybody's name on who or what. I'm not being mean to anybody. I'm just being straight up. Playing the opposite side of one game or another doesn't matter who or what. It just means what y'all are doing. And you think that it's so important to be so great that you can do something like that. Is it? Are you sitting in the corner dreading when and when they're going to put up their next video. Are you sitting there waiting patiently for it? Sure you are. I know you are. You prove it every day. To me. And to the other people that you do it to. You do the same thing every day. It's either stupid comments. Or thumbs down. Same thing every day. Y'all know that. I know that. Other people that watch your videos know that. But yet, if y'all would spend that time focusing on a way to help the situation, when the time comes to when they're coming for you because they got everybody else, and you think they're going to help you when the time comes, when you really think that they're going to help you when the time comes, they're not. And then you're not going to have nobody to turn to to help you. You know why? Because you help them get all of those other people. Don't you feel good about yourself about that? Sure you do. Because you're making that dollar. That mighty dollar that's putting in your pocket. Yep. It doesn't matter whether you're doing solar. It doesn't matter if you're doing weather. It doesn't matter if you're doing anything else. Chasing airplanes. Chasing Sandy Hook. Chasing the Boston bomb. And it doesn't matter what you're chasing. You're just an ambulance chaser. For a dollar. One two dollars twenty dollars a video it doesn't matter a hundred dollars a video it don't matter it's all about the money for you it doesn't matter even if they're talking about taking your gun rights away that's still a rabbit hole it's still you're chasing it but you're not willing to do anything about it you're still sitting there chasing that damn ambulance down the street barking like a, a damn wild uh, a wild dog that wants to chase the tires on a car because he don't like it going down the street. It's in his territory. Your territory is whatever you're working on. And you're like a wild dog. And everybody was talking there for a while about enlightenment. Really? Enlightenment? Where's the enlightenment about that? Chasing the ambulance. 
There ain't none. Because all it is is the same old shit. Day in and day out. When are y'all going to really all stick together just once and say I've had enough? I've had enough of the bullshit. Let's really work on the, the actual facts of what's really causing our country to be a piece of shit. To be in the new Nazism country. Because that's what we are. That's what we've become. Iraq, Iran, Iraq. All them other little countries, Afghanistan's, all that stuff over there. All because they're fighting after oil. And ever since they started it, our oil prices went up. And we're out in the Gulf of Mexico drilling for oil. Almost destroyed the Gulf from all the oil getting in the, in the ocean. Did we cause the Fukushima disaster? Uh, with weather weapons? I don't know. Can't prove it. Sure is a lot of information leading that way in there. Yeah, there is. Can't prove it for a hundred percent fact. But in my opinion they did. And I'm not sure, and it's just my opinion, that it seems like California would have gotten that stuff a whole lot longer a time ago than they say saying that they just now getting it in North Northern California with high levels. I'm not saying that it didn't happen. I'm not saying there ain't a little radiation. But don't you think if it was really melting down that there wouldn't wouldn't be a whole lot more problems by now? Just my opinion. It really is just my opinion. I'm not saying that it's not real. I'm not saying that it didn't happen. I'm just saying that it seems like to me that we'd be having a whole lot more problems here now than we are. Unless there's a lot of people lying on both aspects of the fence. The ones that are pushing the fear and the ones that are really trying to push the truth trying to push more truth by having to lie on their side to make the fear porn don't look so bad. So who knows? <coughs> it goes with all of this stuff we're doing. As long as we're pushing the amulets and the sirens or just like this wheel we're just spinning, folks. We stop and start all over again. Stop and start all over again. Stop and start all over again. That's what we do. It's like that ball. It goes, rolls from one spot to the other, and then it rolls back. And then it rolls back down again, and then it goes up, and then it rolls back. Same thing. Same thing, back and forth. Back and forth, round as she round she goes. But nobody cares about the truth. They don't. And I have people tell me that there's other things besides the Act 1871. Yes, there is. I didn't say that there wasn't. I just said to be sovereign. The Act of 1871, and I have the documents to prove it not a video. Y'all know I have the documents. Y'all seen them. A lot of y'all seen them. And the ones that haven't, you need to go see them. Because they're on a bunch of my website pages. It's on there. You can read the document for yourself. It's there. I've been pushing it a long time. Long time. But folks, straight from the heart, it really is. If we don't do something to save our sovereignty rights and our freedom, 
This was going to be you. Your daily life. You're going to be the ball. You're going to be walking from one side to the other to make that wheel work every day. That's it. That's what we are. That's what we do every day is to make society run, is to go to work, pay taxes on about everything that we do now. Our savings is taxed. Everything we buy is taxed. Everything we sell gets taxed. Anything we do. Could you imagine what would happen if everybody in the whole world, well, not the whole world, just the United States, maybe just one state, just one state at a time, one started at a time, the whole state just shut down, don't do nothing. Government officials, police officers, rescue squads, uh, judges, lawyers, the whole thing. You want to fix your country. And you just all stayed home. Kids didn't go to school. Teachers didn't go to school. And the few people that were left that tried to go here and tried to go there, they find out that they might as well go back home. So there ain't nobody there. Could you imagine that the ones that disagree with you, what would happen to them if enough of you stayed at home? They'd have to go home too because they can't. They, the law won't allow them to do certain things. And there wouldn't be no law to uphold it. You see my point? If you did that, just think about it. If you did that, one state at a time, started in any state you want, but you started in one state, and you did it in every state. One week, you did it one day. Here, by Friday, you was five states away. Every day, there's a state that don't make no money. Or, the whole country at one time. Could you imagine the tax money? Just imagine the tax money they make a day. Just in one day. Just one. With all the things that you buy. Think about it. Just the things that you buy. You spend, say you spent uh, $200 in one day. And it was all taxable. There you go. See my point? Now think about all the people doing that at one time. Don't think small, folks. Don't think small. There's 300 million people in this country. Just say they all, in one day, spent $200. Or let's just say this. Uh, let's just go with $10. They all paid $10 in tax on whatever they bought in one day. Just on the little stuff. $300 million. How much tax is that on $300 million? $10 times $300 million. Wouldn't that make it $600 million? No, $900 million. That's what it'd make it. That's $900 million. See my point? Could you imagine what that would do to this country? And then you start screaming, we want. We want our sovereignty rights back. You make too much money off the people. So I got to do. People ask me, well, what are we going to do? I just gave you the damn answer. But you know why it ain't going to happen? You know why it ain't going to happen? But you got too many people asking, why? What you going to do about it? What you going to do about it? Well, I gave you the answer. 
What you gonna do about it now? You gonna do it? No, you ain't gonna do it. You know why? You know why? Because you're scared. Straight up, you're scared. You don't care. You're worried about making that dollar yourself. Everybody turn off their computer. Don't buy nothing on the internet. You don't buy no gasoline. You don't go nowhere. You stay at home. You could do that for 24 hours. Do you know how much money that is on one, just one day? Nobody sells a car that day. How many cars are sold in this country? Big ticket items. Five, six hundred dollars at a time. Five, six hundred dollars at a time. You see my point? Folks, do you see my point? You could be a multi-millionaire by if you got that kind of money. Don't you understand that they getting not only that, then you're paying them tax too on the money that you make every day. Every day. But yet they're borrowing money against our social security. And by the time some of you younger people get there, there won't be no social security because they can't afford it, they say. Really? Do you really think we're in debt? I don't think so. If they are, we're paying way too much interest on something. And they're spending way too much money on others. But you think about it. Think long and hard about it. But you just keep watching that wheel. And you keep chasing that ambulance. Pushing the pedals on that ambulance wheel right there. That's what you're getting. That is. That's what it is. Much love to y'all. You know, and y'all have a great night now, you hear? And from my cold, dead hands. <laughs>